It was my birthday. We'd had breakfast at the cafe. My wife went off for a new mom's group meeting. I went down the street to another cafe that I felt more comfortable at because this one was not, I didn't feel comfortable sitting there for hours writing. It was not that cafe. On my way back, there's a bookstore that's attached to the cafe called Mrs. Dalloway's. I see a book in the window about the loving couple, a children's book about the loving couple, the couple that legalized interracial marriage. I buy that book for my family because that's about my family. And I sort of bop over to the cafe, holding my computer in my hand, holding this book. There's five white looking women. They're not all white, but that's how, not how whiteness works. Um, and one of them asked to see the book. I show the book. All of a sudden I hear on the window, dun, 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 dun. And I look up and because I'm a semi-celebrity in the Bay Area, I look up like, yeah, it's the guy from the TV. It sure is. And this woman is like, howdy. And I was, and I immediately confused and shocked and then realizing, oh, this is, oh, it's racism. As I'm standing there, my, Melissa sees me. She didn't see the woman do this, but she heard it because it was very loud. She sees me. She has been around me long enough to know that racism just went down. An employee walks out of the cafe to sort of give me the like, all Move right, along, all Mr. right, sir. Melissa's like, this is my husband. That's my wife. That's my baby she's holding. Oh, we thought you were selling something. Mm -hmm. And I stormed off, like sort of like, Melissa's like, no, 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 don't go. I'm going with you. We get up, we go to the car. I take the baby, strap the baby into the car suit. And Melissa goes back because I have to say something and gets the and goes to the to the employee who'd walked outside and just sort of like rah, 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 in a way that it is safe for a white woman to do, and it is not safe for a black man to do that. And this is in the height of like Ferguson, Michael Brown's the news every day. So it was like I was very aware that like also I can't make too big a deal about this because there is real happening. But also, if this is happening to me, it's happening to other people.